Ladies and gentlemen, hello, and welcome to Slime Experiments, the game that I've been developing over time, throwing up vlogs on the YouTube here, and it's finally done and released on Steam today. You can go get it for 99 cents on Steam. The link will be down in the description here. But as you can see, we finally finished it. We have all of our lovely levels here created. All 50 worlds that we had originally planned to make are completed. Go through all of them. Of course, when you get the game, you won't have the continue and level select button. You'll just have the new game button, which puts you in the world. And then as you progress and unlock more, you will unlock levels where you can then choose to go into them and whatnot. And of course, the earlier levels are going to be fairly simple. They're just, you know, move this block and get out of the area, right? The first level, in fact, has no blocks in it at all. It's just go through the maze, kind of thing like that. Second level, literally just push a block out of your way and get to the exit. Then level three ramps up a little further with, hey, now you gotta move some blocks in a specific order in order to get there and not block your way out and all that good jazz. And then of course we add some more stuff, and more stuff, and then we introduce a new element and then we go more, and then we go new element. And then as the game progresses, you can see more and more little elements adding up and whatnot, all the way up to these complex levels. Well, I say complex, but maybe they are, maybe they aren't, you know? And then world five ends with one element being shared across all of them. And it is fun. There, there were times when I was making these levels where it was like, a little tedious for me to test them because I would like do something and then it would, you know, just break, right? And I'd have to be like, oh, let me go fix it and then retry it again. But some levels were just like, okay, come on, I've almost got it, I've almost got it, and then yes, I beat it! It was just so thrilling and entertaining for me. So with, without further ado, let's actually see what a level looks like. Let's just choose level three, um, and we can try, let's see, go to world, maybe. Let's find a good one that has like a lot of stuff that we can do in it here. Hmm? Okay. Let's go ahead and do level two here. Level two is, a, is the first level that introduces this inverse block. So if we hit level select, or level load, I'm sorry. It'll load up, and then after a moment, we'll be put into the game. Here it is. Now, we will have a little bit of dialogue from our, uh, our lovely uh, mad scientist who is experimenting on our slime here. We have a counter in the upper right that is telling us um, about the uh, how long we've you know gone for. We can also hit escape, open up the pause menu, which pauses the timer, and pauses the dialogue happening here. We can use this unstuck button, which will just teleport us to the beginning. Um, and if we actually do that again here, for example, you can see that it just teleports us and doesn't reset any of the blocks or anything. We also have a reset level button, which actually resets the level, which uh, if you do get stuck or get a block somewhere you don't want it to be, you can just reset the level, which also resets the timer. Unstuck does not reset the timer. We also have settings, which are very simple. It's just the music and sound effect volume here. Uh, you can then apply the settings and then go without saving. And of course resume and all that good jazz. So despite the, the somewhat simple graphics of the game, I think the mechanics of it are, are pretty fun, you know? We can see that this pressure plate opens up that cage over there. And then it seems like we're needing to get this block up and out of the way here, right? So let's let's move this block over to here. And does this, this, this thing seems like I need to push it down here to get this path open for that block. Then I have this block. And I could just push it down and then try to get the uh, purple block out that way, but there might not be enough room. So what we can do instead is push it over here. I can just push it down here and onto this platform to get this open. And then the question is, what do I do with this? Block, right? So, I think, and I actually do not remember, I think I just pushed this up here so I can pull this block over to here. And, whoops, if you fall in the hole, 
you get teleported back, but nothing changes. It keeps your progress on the level. All those blocks of pitfall. You can then drag the thing down here, and we can just go ahead and pull it all the way across here and find out that the inverse block does not get pushed on conveyor belts. Oh, that's a shame here. So we need to pull that over here then, and very carefully pull it down now. We can push it over here, or pull it over here in this case, and then pull it down, and then pull it over. And we're going to have to pull it up here, but we should be fine because there we go. And we can pull it over this way. And what we want to do is pull it up here, but then we're going to get ourselves stuck, which is not ideal. So what we're going to have to do is use the unstuck button. Because those inverse blocks, they can be a little tricky. They're the ones that uh, have a little bit of problem with them when you run to a wall or another corner. So that's fine. But what we want to do here is since the inverse blocks go the opposite way on conveyor belts, we can do that. It gets us to the exit, and it'll immediately throw us into the next level. All the loading and saving is done automatically. Um, once you hit the exit, it saves and loads the next level. And then you can go back to the main menu and whatnot and, and do your thing. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Confirm exit. So now if we hit the level select button, go to world two and select the one we were just at, we can see that the best time updated with the two minutes and 27 seconds that we had there. And basically, ladies and gentlemen, that is the game. You go through various different puzzles and try to get to the last one and beat the game. And then you have all these high scores that you can be like, yeah, so I... I them and all this and if you have friends you can challenge them to the game or whatnot um there's no like global leaderboard that other people can see it's literally just your own times is all that you can see um, unfortunately i do not yet know exactly how i would go about creating a global leaderboard and in fact i think i would need my own server like physical server with me in order to host that i don't think it's just something that can be done through steam so i unfortunately do not have but, ladies and gentlemen, that is not the slide that I wanted there. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the game. I'm experiments, of course, just one level of it, but I think you get the gist there. So, it's out right now on Steam. You can get it for 99 cents. That's US dollars. I'm not sure what it equates to in your currency, but it's pretty cheap. It did not take me very long to make. Um, you can go watch the Slime Experiments development uh, VODs that I put up, all 17 days of them. That shows the you know, whole making of from the very first script to loading in the uh, background tiles and the blocks and, you know, making some of the blocks, coding each what, what each block does and all that good stuff. And also me testing the levels near the end so that I can make sure that uh, the game works uh, and can be beaten. And whatnot. Now, if you do see any bugs, do let me know in the comments or mention it on uh, Steam in, in a review or something. That way, if there is a bug and I can replicate it and fix it, I can update the game to remove that bug. Um, I tried to preempt that by adding an unstuck, so that, because I know with the inverse blocks and I was not sure how to solve it, when you go into a wall, you just kind of get stuck. Um, so, that's just kind of how it goes. Might add and be unstuck just for that. Uh, so hopefully that you know helps some people out at times. Because uh, I don't think it's just the inverse blocks that can cause you to get stuck sometimes. So it, it, it's helpful to have other things. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Uh, going forward, I also have down in the description a link to my previous game, I'm Just a Slime, which is an RPG, um, same 2D style kind of thing as this game, but it has much better looking graphics because everything in slime experiments was done by me except for the sprite of the uh uh slime that you're playing as and one level's backgrounds were done by someone else but everything else was done by me in paint just very simply to keep costs down just to you know make a nice little experiment game right just to have a nice little puzzle game to, to see what exactly i can do but going forward i don't know when but I'm going to make a Doom-like game next. It is going to be my next game. 
you know, the classic Doom where it's uh, kind of like flat 2D textures and you are, uh, you know, you don't have an like jump or you can't look up and down, you just look on one level and whatnot. I'm going to make a Doom-like, but I'm going to include RPG elements into it. So like leveling up, um, spending stat points to increase your character's abilities, like uh, endurance raises your uh, health total, intelligence raises your mana levels, um, strength increases how hard your melee hits, and how much extra equipment you can carry. Uh, agility dictates how fast you can move, and your dodge ability cooldown. And then there is luck, which uh, increases the chance that an enemy is going to drop extra items like health bottles, mana bottles, or armor, and it also increases the crit chance of magical weapons. So that is very fun. Uh, I call it Gunmancer Isekai because you're going to get sent to another world that's an RPG fantasy world, and you're going to be able to use guns uh, with magic and you know, just destroy stuff. It's going to be fun. Uh, at least I think it's going to be fun. Uh, it is going to take a while because one, I'm learning Unity 3D because it's in a 3D environment, not a 2D environment. And so that's going to be interesting. And two, um, getting the assets that I need because everything is going to be completely like new and purchased. I'm not going to go like I have with the previous titles that I've made and go on to um, itch.io and get free uh, or cheaply made things. I'm going to you know, talk to an artist or talk to a musician and be like, hey, I need this music. I need this background, I need this sprite. Everything's going to be unique for this game, made specifically for this game and going forward that way. So I'm hoping it turns out good and uh, it's fun. I mean, I'm going to make it so it is going to be fun. And I do plan to have for the main story, um, it's going to be handcrafted, beautiful levels. And then I also want to have these side quests that are going to be um, like randomly generated levels. Like anytime you choose one, it's going to randomly generate a level for you, right? And that way it has like unlimited replayability uh, because your level cap is unlimited as well. Um, it's just that after certain levels, you have to get a bunch of experience to get one more stat point. Um, but yeah, and then after you beat the game, I want to add in this like endless labyrinth dungeon kind of thing where it's uh, it's literally like a, an enclosed labyrinth, like stone walls, stone floors, maze-like. Um, that's gonna be randomly generated every time you go down it. And then like every five levels, there's gonna be a boss. And um, once you beat the boss, it kind of saves your depth progress. And then every single level that you go down, it is going to uh, get harder and harder. You're gonna see more monsters. You're gonna see monsters that take more bullets to kill, that kind of stuff. So I think it'll be fun and enjoyable, but you know, we'll see. I'm not sure when that's gonna come out. It might be year five years. It really depends on a lot of factors. Well, it's not going to be a slime experiment, which is done in 17 days, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, everyone, get slime experience. Support me with that. Uh, check out I'm Just a Slime. Uh, honestly, one of the better games that I've made so far, in my opinion. That's a nice little RPG. Not too long, just a short sweet. Uh, it took me four hours to beat it going speed run, like ignoring all the, the dialogue, the side quests, all that kind of stuff, and I'm just a slime, and I've eaten it in four hours, taking the shortest possible route, doing nothing else. So you're looking at maybe a five to six hour game there, at least, um, I would say. And uh, yeah, that's just about it. So check out the games, and let me know what you think about them. You can leave a review on Steam, or comment on the release videos. This one for Slime Experience, I also announced back previously, I'm just a slime, I think. So you can also comment on that one to let me know what you think of the game and all that good jazz. And then of course, just follow the channel and whatnot to know when Gunmaster Isekai gets released in the future. Like I said, again, it's not gonna be soon. So yeah. Anyway, everyone, that's all for me. Thank you all for watching and listening, and if you're buying the game, thank you as well. Bye-bye for now.